welcome back to my channel this is your girl Tracy and as you can see I am in my car I'm actually using my phone today to do this video I just want to bring you a little bit of story time <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sure if I should be laughing or how I should feel about it um, but I'm not sure y'all be the judge y'all y'all be the judge listen but I would like to take this time to say to y'all, please, please, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn notification buttons on. Listen, like I keep saying, everybody knows somebody other than yourself, right? So please, 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 pretty please share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your foes, just tell everybody, okay? Anywho, let me jump right in here. This is story time. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be laughing or how I should feel about this. But um, I don't think, you know what? It has been so long, but I think I just want to share this. How I actually fought at a funeral. <laughs> Listen, I don't know who's ever done this, but I can say. I actually fought at a funeral. Guys, a whole fight at a funeral. Okay. So um this I was a kid. I was I was a child. I know for sure it would not have turned out that this that way if it was now because listen, you will not catch this girl anywhere fighting because nobody you're not gonna destroy this. I'm sorry. It will. Be, it's a whole different ball game. I ain't fighting nobody. Okay, you, you ain't gonna do. You ain't catch me do no fights with nobody. Ex just no physical fights. Cause you're not gonna see this. Listen, but yeah. So let me s talk about. Um, let me see. Where do I start? So this happened. Uh, I remember it's 1993 or 94. And I'm a classmate of mine, I've already entered high school, and we all entered high school together. And a classmate of ours, she fell ill, and apparently she did not recover from her illness, and she passed away. So, you know, long and short of the story, you know, we would go visit her um, at the hospital time and time again, back and forth, until apparently... You know, she passed on, you know, R.I.P. R.I.P. doll, R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, I can I can just imagine how she, you know, how bubbly she would be, um, how life would have been um, for her now. Because she was such a big personality, just a breath of fresh, fresh air. When Carrie walks in a room, she lights up every room that she walks in. She was such a breath of fresh air. And, um... You know, maybe some of you who may know her will remember exactly, you know, how I'm describing her. It's exactly who she was. She was just so bubbly. She was full of life. Um, she was just someone you want to be around. She was very welcoming. Uh, she was very fun. She was very smart. And I could go on and on and on to describe Carrie. Now, this girl, she had a beautiful funeral of a um very very good send off um and we i remember we all went up to sing um let me see if i remember the song i think the song is it's about um good goodbye is the artist thing I, I think the song is goodbye is the artist thing has ever had to say that was the title of the song so we all got up on the podium at the church and we the class the, the entire class got up on the podium um at the church and we sang goodbye that, that's the title of the song goodbye is the artist thing uh we've ever had i've ever had to say um that was the title of the song and we sang it and everything we all we, we all left the church we went to the the graveside and we all um 
song and it was a very solemn 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 funeral like everybody was crying but was sobbing and it was just the the atmosphere could like the entire atmosphere you could know that this person was so full of life and she was so missed by everyone anywho let's get into the meat of the story of the matter child now i remember very vividly these two girls and y'all know y'all names if y'all ever see this y'all remember because it was epic okay so i'm not gonna call no names but let's okay let's 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 name these two people y'all uh, let's give them let's, let's give them some names um first i'm gonna say the first, okay, first is Peter. Next one is Paul. Yeah, anyway, people are using unisex names anyways. So, actually, there, are two, there were two girls. So, um, Peter and Paul. That's what I'm going to name the girls. So, what happened, it, now funeral is almost over, and I'm heading home. Um... Everybody knows me that I was never someone who has a lot of friends. Um, I would talk to people, but I was more of a loner. I'm not, I, I never used to have like a bunch of people um, to hang out with or whatever. I was always more of the little girl with a runny nose and a booger. And you know, and my hair was not well kept because I had like a little nooks of hair. So everybody used to think it's okay. I'm just going to pick on her. And this is my moment to just jump her. I think that was basically, I believe, the thought process for Peter and Paul. So, I was heading home now from the funeral, child. I'm supposed to be mourning, okay? And so, when the funeral was over, heading down the street, and we were just walking, Peter decided it was okay. To step to the sister. But I just was not. You know. I, I, for some odd reason. I, it's like I knew all along. Because I. In my Oprah voice. All my life. I had to fight. Ain't no joke y'all. All my life. I had to fight. And. Uh, so now. I was heading home, coming from funeral. Peter decides she wants to step to the sister. Now, <laughs> I never forgot. My grandmother bought me a brand new sneakers. It was a high top. It was a high top sneaker. Everlast sneaker. And I'm telling you. I made sure I used it to my advantage. And I was not this thick or this big. But I'm telling you. When I, when I said I literally. Put my Everlast sneaker. All the way up somebody I need. Then when I looked, Paul was all rushing at me as well. And she was about to like grab me. Listen, I used Peter to beat Paul. And I was nothing more than, I think I was 13 and then on 14. And those girls were older than I am. Because I remember um, Peter was like in... Uh, yeah, and actually, they were not even from the same school that I was going to. Let me just drop, drop that in here. They were not even from the same school that I was going to. Because we were all into high school. And these girls apparently went to another school. But for some odd reason, they think it was okay to start a fight with me and pick a fight with me. And I'm telling you, y'all, I use Peter to beat Paul. Okay? I kicked behind that day. And 
the fight was so huge. Like everybody was just trying to get me off these girls. And y'all know you who y'all is. Y'all y'all know yourselves. If y'all are watching this, listen, I've moved on years ago um, from this situation. I've forgiven both of you all, you know. I'm, I'm just talking about this for entertainment. Just the fact that I was supposed to be mourning and I'm fighting at somebody's funeral. What is that? But, yeah, that's my story. I had a huge fight at a funeral. And story time again. I actually was kicked out of my high school because I was in uniform fighting. Because all of us, all of us, um, all the students were told to wear uniform to the funeral, you know, just to be um, coordinated and to represent the school. Since she was a student at the school that we're all going, we're all in the same class. So we had to wear uniform. So up and wearing her uniforms, you know. So that got me in a whole big to-do. That's a story time again. How that led me to be exiting stage left to my next high school. Which is crazy. Yes, guys. I've been to more than one high school. And I've moved on from one all because of this fight. But that's another story time. Yes, guys. So, um, and I'm not here to... Um, advocate fighting in no way or endorse it. I am a big believer that nobody should be throwing hands anywhere. Um, it's to me, it's just G H E T T O. We ain't doing that no more, right? You know, like I said, I'm too, you ain't gonna mess with this. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna happen. So don't think about it. You know, you're feeling it, thinking it. Don't try to run in here, okay. Be careful now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my little story time. I actually fought at a funeral and I actually used Peter to beat Paul. And that actually got me kicked out of school. Yes, it was bad. But you know what? The girl did what she had to do, right? Anywho, I hope you all enjoy this little story. I hope y'all enjoy this little story. And uh, yeah, this was my little story time. I fought at a funeral. Actually got kicked out of school. Just by using Peter to be Paul. Mm -hmm. Anywho, listen people. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Tell everybody who has an ear. You know, everybody have one of these, yeah. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn notification buttons on. You hear it first. I'm out.